Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. You're watching News 6 at 530. First tonight, summer vacation will be here before we know it. But in one local school district, a new way to protect students is about to go online. School zone speed cameras are about to go online in Eustis. We've been following the progression of these cameras for nine months now. Trooper Steve got a sneak peek at how they worked last July as a part of a pilot program. Cameras were installed in February, but they weren't ticketing drivers at the time, so people would have time to adjust to the new rules. But if they had, hundreds of tickets would have been given out. In a study, one camera took pictures of more than 3,300 vehicles. Nearly 900 would have been found in violation, going more than 10 miles per hour over the speed limit. As News 6's Emily McLeod shows us, those warnings turn to tickets tomorrow. After a 30 day warning period, the new speed zone cameras here in Eustis resulted in 767 warnings, but just in one school zone. So this camera right here is located near the Orange Avenue and Prescott Street intersection. Eustis Police Chief Craig Capri tells us he hopes the $100 fines that will be issued beginning Wednesday will bring that number down to zero. This isn't even throughout the entire city. This, this is, is just one school zone. One school zone, 767 warnings issued in a five week period. When you saw those numbers, were you surprised? I was surprised. I was a little concerned like, OK, we, this confirms the data that we looked at, the scientific data that there is a speeding problem there. Now, what some people might not realize is that you can still get a speeding violation even when school zone signs aren't flashing. So these signs that are posted warn drivers that these cameras are active during the entire school day. So if you're caught speeding during any of these times while school's in session, you could see a $100 fine in your mailbox. This program, I hope, changes that behavior, and I hope that there, we don't issue a lot of citations. That's the goal of this program, mm -hmm. because if we're not issuing speeding citations, it means people aren't speeding in school zones and our mission's accomplished. Eustis Police Chief Craig Capri also says there will be someone who looks over every violation recorded to make sure there's no mistakes. We're going to make sure that every violation is a valid violation, mm -hmm. that it's been reviewed as a valid violation before we issue that violation where they have to pay $100. We understand $100 is a lot of money to people here right now. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of money. Chief Capri also tells us drivers will have 30 days to pay their fine or appeal it. If they don't, it becomes a moving violation which could result in points on your license. In Eustis, Emily McLeod getting results, News 6.